Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? How are you doing? Let's see. Can you all hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Happy Friday. Yes, yes, yes. Let me know if you can hear me. Of course, there's a 10 to 15 second delay, and that's all right. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. How is everyone doing? Happy Friday, weekend eve, all the good stuff. Yeah, let me go on and plug in my laptop. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be back here with you all. I missed you all yesterday. The DMV was getting on my nerves, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, let me give some shout outs and whatnot before we get into tonight's content. Before we get into tonight's content. Okay, so let's see. Sexy RN that heals and makes you fall in love. Hello, Empress Kia, Chick-fil-A gal, Dimples Wimples, Cam Lewis, Tiani Vaughn, how you doing? Mons, Zen Soul, Julia Sutton. Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? Tim Lee, Alikia, CN1, Sleepy B, K Mac. Yes, 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 yes. Smith and Wesson, 380. <laughs> Your profile pic is killing me, the real Toshi. Okay, the real Brown Family Chronicles. Hey, Adele. Vanessa Johnson, Geech Girl. Okay, great, great, great. So, yeah, let's let's just get into it. So, you know, last time or, you know, very recently, you know, I talked about Ernesto's natal charts, right? It wasn't completely exact because we don't know his time of birth. So we couldn't really get into like houses, positions, and things like that. Uh, what the ascendant or descendant was for him. But, you know, with that that bit of information that we we had that we went through, I think it laid out a pretty good picture as it pertains to who Nesto really is. Right. So today and um, again, I don't know if you all remember, I did predict that Shirley would eventually file for divorce. And one of the reading one of the readings that I did late last year, I can't remember if it was Shirley's reading or Nesto's reading. I couldn't re remember which one it was, but I did, you know, predict that eventually she's going to come around to it and she's going to file the divorce for divorce, right? Lo and behold, from what we have seen the past day or so, she has, right? And that had me thinking about, you know, them two as a couple, how their energies match, maybe don't match what's going good for them or what went good for them, what didn't go so good for them. So we're going to look into all of that tonight. So do me a favor and hit the like button if you haven't for me. And yeah, let me let me let me pull up pull up their charts together. Their charts together. And I know I haven't gone over Shirley's chart. One of the things that I noticed about Shirley's chart in and of itself, is that she was very, very much destined to be in the limelight. She was destined to be someone who was known, someone of fame, someone of notoriety, someone, you know, like a celebrity. Very, very destined for her. Um, she worked hard to get to where she is. You know, she does have a little bit of, I don't want to say mammy in her as far as her natal energies are, but she is a person that really, really likes and enjoys and kind of puts, you know, puts forward um, male energy, right? And what do I mean by that? Um, just a lot of who she is, is, you know, it's just, a, it's not, it's not quite full blown mammy, but it's that, you know, male attention, paying every paying attention to male, maleness, male ideals, things like that. So that's what I kind of picked up from Shirley's natal chart. Um, again, but she was definitely, definitely, definitely destined to be in the limelight, definitely destined to be a celebrity, to be someone of note, 
to be, um, you know, depending on the demographic, a household name, right? That's really, really what I saw for her. Um, I didn't see anything that was too, too problematic as far as, um, as far as Shirley. But yeah, her and Nesto together, there were some good things and there were some things that, you know, the, the things that I thought were very interesting are coincidentally the things that have caused problems, okay? Most of it particularly coming from Nesto. So let's get into it. Let me pull up both of their charts together. I have my 5,000 million trillion notes, right? I have all of my notes. So if you hear me ruffling papers and stuff like that, I, I, I just had to take a lot of notes. I had to take a lot of notes. All right. So, hello, hello, hello. Hello to everyone coming in. Yeah, come on in. All right. So, I'm guessing everyone can see, right? And again, this won't be particularly exact because we don't know what time of day she was born. We don't know what time of day Nesta was born. We just have their birth dates. So, we can't really pull houses. So, I want you all to ignore ignore the house lines. We're just looking at energies. That that that's all we're looking at. That's all we are looking at. So, let me um let me start out by showing Shirley's chart just by itself, right? So, we're looking at Shirley's chart just by itself. Her son and, you know, if if this is the midheaven, if it's the midheaven, right? Um because again, we don't know the exact time, but if this is her midheaven being conjunct with her son, absolutely, very, very, you know, she, she, she a prominent woman. Shirley is a prominent woman, okay? She was destined to be a prominent woman, especially with her son right here in this Leo. And again, if, if this is her midheaven, absolutely, she was born to live out her life's purpose in the spotlight, okay, in the realm of people knowing her and things like that. Um, she has this whole stellum going on in cancer over here. So the way that she communicates her emotions and a lot of things are being filtered through this lens of cancer energy, okay? So the first water sign of the Zodiac, you know, this is very... Um, this is how she's able to relate to people. This is how she's able to understand. This is how, this is pretty much part of how she's doing this, the strawberry letter on Steve Harvey's morning show. That ability to, you know, especially as it pertains to relationships um, and things like that, the emotional needs of things and of people. This is, this is communicating on that emotional level, right? Understanding people on that emotional level. This is how she came to be you know, the, the, her doing the strawberry letters, it's, it's, it's actually quite perfect for her. It's actually quite perfect for her, right? Um, and all of this being expressed, being exacerbated with her Jupiter here. Um, one thing about Shirley Strawberry, if we are looking at, and I added in the Juno, the Juno asteroid, which is a lot of times the asteroid people are looking at as it pertains to romantic relationships. I added an asteroid Juno here. And Juno, you know, is pretty much conjunct her Venus. It's here in Virgo. So she really has this energy of um, wanting her partner to be someone who is detail oriented. She's the type of person where a lot of her love language is going to be the things that you can do for me. And we kind of saw that with Nesta, right? She loved him or, you know, the pictures of him, the Instagram posts of him. Yeah, you know, he's washing the car. You know, he's doing these things. This is also going to be the realm of, you know, him from what we had heard from the calls, you know, him taking care of things. This is what she's getting out of her, her partnership. And she does want partnership for romance, right? She does want partnership for love, for, you know, the family unit is very important to her too. You know, with Nesto, it's not really a thing. It's not really a thing, um, with Nesto. Um, she's very driven, but unfortunately she does have the wound of her Chiron 
is in Capricorn. She has the wound of she needs to or her 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 natal energy is telling her to um gain status and approval. So she has this this natal chiron energy that is just not to say that it's her downfall, but this is where she needs to learn to heal and understand that she doesn't have to compete with other people. Okay. It's good to work hard and to have success, but success isn't all of who you are. Right. So she does have a hyper focus, um, you know, that needs success, needs status, needs to manifest these things in the material world. It's an unhealthy ambition that she has, right? But this is thing. This is something that Nesto saw in her, right? And going back to his chart with his, you know, son and the Capricorn being driven for the success, they they come together and they work together well. You know, these were two things that you know they had going well for them together as a as a as a couple, right? As two people, you know. Um, so again, she's a very much a prominent woman. Um, and again, she has a little bit of, like I said, I'm not going to call it full on mammy, but she, part of who she is, um, because with her son can jump the mid heaven, it's called sun culminating. So that is when part of your identity is tied to not only your achievements, um, and having a good successful image, but a lot of that achievement and that image is tied to maleness right and we can see that with her right her success what she's known for is the strawberry letter but not on her show on steve harvey's show okay so just you know this is a placement you know she she has a focus on maleness okay she has a focus on maleness looking up to men being influenced by them. Like I said, it's not quite mammy, but there is something underneath where it's just like, um, okay, instead of trusting the energy, you're going to give them the benefit of the doubt because, you know, those long standing patriarchal, you know, listen to men and things like that. So like I said, just a little bit on Shirley's um, chart before I pull up their charts together. So let me open up nasty nastos and put them here so yeah the chi the chiron wound is it's 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 a thing it really is a thing i mean if it if it comes off as insecurity it's because of her moons like the it comes off as Emotional things, em emotional things and expressing your emotions come off as insecurity because emotions are usually deemed as bad, right? You may hold something in, you may not say something. Um, it's not necessarily insecurity. It's just, you know, she just needs to, you know, she unfortunately has natural, I need to keep up with the Joneses or potentially um, outpace and outdo the Joneses, right? You know, it's it's just part of who she is. So, you know, with, with the calls or whatever, I guess it was a call of her and Nesto talking about Steve and, you know, how there have been discussions around whether or not she wants a life like Marjorie's or, you know, things like that. A lot of that is coming from literally who she is as a person. It's not something that she developed. It literally is, you know, per her astrology. Um, it really is just who she is as a person. So, yeah. Okay, so getting into this chart together, I, I don't I don't really know where to start. So I'm just I'm just gonna start. So Shirley's chart is here. This is hers, the inner wheel. Nesto is on the outside. And when I was looking at this, one of the things that I noticed was that um of course, if this is correct, because again, we do not have exact birth times, but her son here, Nesto's son here, but it's almost as if Nesto is, 
as much as Nesto wants to be famous, Nesto is never going to be famous. He's never going to be famous. He may be infamous, but he's never going to be famous. Nesto is never going to be beloved. Whereas with Shirley, and you can see it, um, whereas with Shirley, she, again, she, she was, she was destined for that, right? She was destined for that. And make no mistake about it. Who Nesto is as a person, astrologically, right? Who Nesto is as a person, um, he seeks that. He sought that. I don't know if you notice down here, right? We have the, let me try to get it here. We have Nesto's Juno. And if this is the correct angle, because again, we don't have their times. This midheaven and this Juno here together, Nesto was always going to look and find someone that he can come up off of. He was always going to find someone that he could come up off of. And it sounds bad, but, you know, it's just an energy that many times, you know, this person attracts people who are doing well in their careers, doing well for themselves. Um, and this is a placement that the person who has this placement, so his Juno is conjunct as midheaven, he, he looking for the, he's looking for a prominent woman. He has always been looking for a prominent woman. Okay. Enter the Nesto dictionary. He has always been looking for a prominent woman or some type of partnership that he can grow and build himself off of. And he found it in Shirley. Okay. This is someone who, you know, because she has proximity to someone that has TV shows, someone that has been on TV shows, someone that has been on come, you know, Steve Harvey is, you know, a celebrity in and of himself. She's aligned to him. She works very closely with him. We often know sometimes, you know, in the business world, sometimes, you know, the nepotism happens. So her working on Steve Harvey's morning show was the perfect, I don't want to say mark, but that was right up his alley. Him being introduced to her, okay, and I think I said it before in one of my readings, him being introduced to her, unfortunately, this relationship was faded. He was meant to meet her. He was meant to meet her. They were meant to meet each other. A marriage just so happened to come out of it. But once he knew who she was, oh, he made sure he was not letting that bag go. Okay. So this is, I don't want to say predatory, but it is predatory. It's predatory. It's predatory because the only way these people or people like Nesta are going to come up is off of the backs and off of the energy of someone else. So make no mistake about it. Um, once he knew who she was and once he was able to establish a relationship with her, you know, say hello to her, start talking to her, his, his energetic goal, okay, was to get the bag. And his energetic goal was to get the bag through, through her. Okay, because she had a bag that he didn't have. She had access that he didn't have, right? And it's just quite unfortunate because, you know, his his Mercury and his here on the outer wheel at the bottom, his Mercury and his Venus being conjunct. Remember, this is someone who's a charmer. He is a charmer. He is a charmer, but also he's, so, he's he is looking for a way to come up. And the way for him to come up is through his relationships. Okay, so make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. And again, unfortunately, they were faded because this wasn't this 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 marriage wasn't necessarily a transformational point for Nesto. This was a transformational period of time for Shirley. Okay, because a lot of her energetics, even though she does have her son in Leo, she is a hard worker. You know, she sees the you know understands the details of things. Yes, she's very compassionate, easygoing. She's very classy and things like that. But 
she had to learn this lesson, okay? Because people can get married and have different outlooks on life. And unfortunately, they had different outlooks on life. If you look, Shirley's, um, Shirley's moon over here, I'm sorry, Nesto's moon over here is in Aries. Shirley's moon is in Cancer. So the energetics of who they are, even though they both have very hardworking and very confident and very confident and hardworking sun signs, the moon signs, okay, the emotional body, they were two different people. They were two different people. And the thing about it is, especially for Shirley, Shirley really went into this wanting marriage and stability, but Nesto did not want marriage and stability. Okay. Shirley's moon is here in Cancer. Nesto's moon is in Aries. This Aries energy is tied to his sun and Capricorn energy. It's tied to that energy. He was always on the grind trying to find a way to come up. He found it in Shirley. Okay. She seeing someone who presents themselves like they have it together. Right. And obviously, if she ran into Nesto, then obviously he's in the correct circles. Right. Obviously, he's in the correct social circles. Right. She saw the signs. Make no mistake about it. Shirley saw a lot of signs. Shirley ignored the signs. Shirley ignored a lot of signs because she is that compassionate person with her moon and cancer. Her moon is in, her moon is domicile in cancer. If this is the correct moon, it's domicile. It's happy here. This is where it can fully express itself, the emotions, things like that. But there, there were signs. You this this water and this fire together. That's that's a it's eventually going to be a point of contention. Okay. How they think about things, how they go about things. Shirley is fine with getting the bag with hard work. Okay. And working with the details, smoothing things out. Nesto wants the bag too, but he's going to get it through scamming. He's going to get the bag through scamming. There were some things, I don't know how long it took for her to see the flags. We don't know. I don't know if she's ever going to tell us or write a book or tell all or whatnot. The flags were there. She chose to ignore them because she is the person of compassion, because she is, you know, I do the strawberry letter, because I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt, because no, my person is not going to lie to me. No, my partner is not going to lie to me. But there were flags there. She saw them. She, um, she, she just did, she just didn't want to believe. She did not want to believe. Okay. She did not want to believe. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He, 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 he doesn't know. Remember I did the reading on Nesto. I did a tarot reading on Nesto and his energetics is like someone who was raised in a brothel, was raised in a strip club. The way that he, that, that is his energy. That's his energetics. And we see that. We've seen that throughout this whole debacle of these phone calls from prisons being released. Shout out to phone calls from prison. Right. So we, we've seen that. This man, this man never loved her. OK, this man never loved her. Uh, is is he, he he's never loved her. Um. Uh, yeah, surely there, there, there was an inkling somewhere where she knew. Okay. Now, again, his Juno is conjunct his midheaven. The partner, the perfect partner for him, is someone that's going to be able to elevate him. Okay. Is going to be able to elevate him. Oh, he gonna work hard at scamming. But ideally, his ideal partner, you know, it's no different than when they say, you know, a woman is a gold digger. She's marrying a man for money. Nesto married her for money. And for whatever access she can, he could get from her, that's exactly why he married her. That's exactly why he married her, especially asking her to marry him on the spot, on air, where it would be hard to reject this proposal. Okay. 
Now, one of the things that I noticed was the Mars here, right? And the Mars here, they have their Mars squares, which means this is a hard aspect. And again, I don't know what type of, I feel like they've had arguments. I feel like they have had arguments and I'm not going to say that the argument got physical, but when you have two bulls going at each other and when you have that type of energetics, it's not too hard to imagine. Like I said, I am not saying at all. I am not alleging that there has been any type of um, domestic violence. I'm not saying that at all, but they have butted heads before. They have butted heads before. And Nesto being as dominant as he is. See, surely she's very traditional. She's going to fall back into the traditional feminine wife role. Nesto is going to come in and be the man or the, you know, he's going to pull the head of household, even though he was pretty much, you know, living off of her name and recognition. He's still going to pull the head of household. Okay. He's still going to pull that head of household. She is going to fall back. She may not say anything. Okay. There have been arguments and, you know, a lot of married couples, sometimes they argue, sometimes they have disagreements. It happens. But these are conversations, arguments, disagreements that um, these were part of the signs. These were part of the signs, part of the red flags, and she ignored them. She ignored them. Okay. She ignored them. Now. And again, they, they worked out so well together because they do have the energetics of they like money. They like to spend money. Okay. They like to spend money. Okay. They like to spend money. Um, Shirley's Venus and Nesto's Jupiter. Okay. Nesto is the outer ring. So his Jupiter is up there in Taurus. Her Venus is here. And Virgo, this is a good aspect for them because they 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 like money. Um, they like money, they like to spend money. Okay, so when you have the excess of Jupiter running along the lines with Venus, because Venus is ruled by Taurus, his Jupiter is in Taurus, they like the money, but this is this is this is part of where the money problems are coming from. They both like money. She needs to be seen. He trying to come up and get the bag. This is where the spinning is coming from. This is where the, you know, the Rolls Royce, the, the Hummer. This, this is where all this is coming from. Because they do have a very, very good, um, harmonious Venus and Jupiter um, application going on. You know, they're supposed to technically work together to build their empire to amass more money but unfortunately um not being able to wrangle in the spending the overspending the budgeting not being able to do all that this this is why you know the you know need some new shoes you know you need you need a you need a bed for your apartment you know this is you know vehicles being repossessed this is where this comes from this is where this comes from now, um, one of the things that I don't want to say it bothered me, but it kind of did. If you're looking here on the left side and here on the inner ring, this Venus and this Juno, the inner ring is Shirley. The outer ring, you can see these three planets here. So there's a stellum going on here in Virgo. Now, to me, this is the part where this relationship, this marriage, unfortunately, this was a lesson that Shirley had to learn. Unfortunately, it came to her late in life. Um, I don't know the energetics of her previous husband, but this was a lesson that she had to learn. This was a lesson that she had to learn. As we can see, Nesto's Pluto is sitting on top of her Venus, okay? And then these two are conjunct. Her, his Pluto is conjunct 
his Uranus, but they're sitting on top of her Venus. This is going to be, to me, and just to me, this is representative of the way things suddenly became a problem. Okay, because Uranus here is Uranus is here to shake things up, to transform things, to break things down, tear things down. So you can see the truth of what's happening. Pluto is here to transform. Okay. This was transformational for Shirley. And I don't know how much life le left Shirley has to live, but unfortunately, them they were supposed to get married. This was a very faded relationship, but it's because she had to learn this lesson. She had to learn a profound lesson about relationships, about red flags, about standing up for herself. She had to learn a lesson here. Now, I'm not going to say power couple. I mean, they could have been a power couple if he applied more of his... Um, ingenuity to actually building something instead of scamming. Nesto has the energetics to work hard. Nesto will work hard. He will definitely work hard. Okay. The problem is he has the tendency to scam. And being that he has the tendency to scam, plus looking for the way out through his partner, trying to find a bag through a woman, this is where the scamming is going to come in. Now, if he was just as hardworking and honest, if he was not a criminal and he put all his ingenuity into building something, you know, without being a criminal, absolutely, they could have become so much more. <laughs> not credit score 520 or 530. Yeah, they, they, he, they could have been so much more. But he just has the tendency because he is charming, because he knows how to disarm people. He knows how to disarm women, right? Because he knows a lot of women are looking for relationship. They are looking for partnership. He knows all of these things. This is how he's able to scam. Okay. This is how he is able to scam because he is charming. And because again, unfortunately, he knows so many women, especially older women. And it's not all the time, but you know, a younger man, okay, giving an older woman some attention you know, depending on who she is as a person, she's going to fall for it. She's going to fall for it. Okay. She's going to fall for it. So they, they could have been, they could have been so much more if he went out here being a criminal. If he was not out here being a criminal. So, uh, but this, you know, I just see this here, you know, especially within the range of, you know, with the Mars here, all this is, is sitting on top of her Venus. This, the way that these phone calls from prison became a thing, the way that because she is a prominent woman and her husband was arrested, which led to all the phone calls from prison, us finding out about the side chicken, you know, Steve Harvey finding out what she said. All of this was, was a transformational life lesson for Shirley that she had to learn and unfortunately had to come through Nesta. It had to come through Nesta. I'm not saying he's the most dangerous person, but the energetics of Nesta is that this is someone that things are going to happen around. It's almost like he is the bad luck charm. Okay. You know, there are some people where something always happening to them. Yeah. He has those. He's just, the energetics around him are too unpredictable. They're too unpredictable. And with his penchant, his penchants for scamming, that's going to turn into, it's going to be bad juju. It's going to be bad juju and it's going to be bad energy. And unfortunately, surely she had to figure this out because both of them are, you know, I've heard women say that he is attractive. You know, he's good looking. He's in shape for his age. He has a quote unquote nice body. That's what the side chicken said. Um, Shirley Strawberry looks amazing for her age. She's classy. She is refined. They both had their best faces on. 
okay? Their best faces, their best energetics forward. But unfortunately, the wool was over Shirley's eyes. The wool was over Shirley's eyes. Okay. So, um, yeah, they, they, they did have a good, um, in the beginning, the, the attention and the affection was, was a good thing in the beginning. Okay. But there's a possibility that it kind of, you know, died off, but he's a big flirt anyway. He's a big flirt anyway. Um, but they definitely did have attraction. The attraction, her attraction to him was definitely real. His attraction to her was definitely real, although his attraction to her was for a different reason than her attraction to him. She was actually attracted to him as a man, as a person. She was not looking to gain anything out of the relationship except for what a good relationship is supposed to be. He was definitely attracted to her. Again, he's attracted to classy women. She is a classy woman. He likes refined things. He likes to see that in people. Shirley was right up his alley, but he was just, he was just, he was just chasing the bag. He was just, um, sadly, he was, he was chasing a bag. Um, now another thing is if this is the correct, if this is the correct descendant, for Nesto, we can see that Shirley's Jupiter here, Shirley's Jupiter is square his ascendant. And to me, that's saying that, um, again, if you're looking in the inside, to me, that's saying that um, he always had problems. He's not going to reveal it. He's not going to say it. Nesto has always had problems with her, even though he wanted her for the bag. He had problems with her being the more financial one, the more financial, you know, she made more money than him. Even though he was using her for a bag, he still didn't like that he wasn't able to truly, truly, truly come up off of her yet. There was some jealousy there. There was some jealousy there. And her Jupiter square, his ascendant, if that's his ascendant, there, there, there's some jealousy there. There's some jealousy there. Like he needed her for the bag for whatever she could give him, however she could boost his reputation. But there was some, there's some, there's some jealousy there, some jealousy there. And I think with that being some jealousy there, this is where he's so easily, able to talk about her in these phone calls, right? We've heard in the phone calls where, you know, he'll, you know, talk crap about her. Oh, you ain't got no money. Or, you know, they're talking about, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He talks about everybody, but I think that, I think that he really had low key jealousy issues that his wife was doing better than him and he wasn't able to fully come up off of his wife yet. In Nesto's mind, he's supposed to have book deals and other business deals and stuff because of Shirley. He wasn't at that level yet. He wasn't at that level yet. Yeah. And now he's stuck with the ratchet side chicken. Yeah. He is stuck with her. He's stuck with the side chicken now. Right. But yeah, he was definitely, I, I personally think, I personally think that he he was jealous of her. Yeah, yeah, he had the nerve. You know, we we'd heard the phone calls where he, you know he was talking about her, him and the side chicken talking about her. Yeah, I mean, overall, them together, they had a good, they had a good attraction. There was the attraction, but they were two different people, and they wanted two different things out of the relationship. She wanted a true real relationship. Nesta wanted the bag. And because even philosophically, they're two different people, the attraction and her looking wonderful for her age and him being in good shape, it wasn't enough. The initial attraction was not enough to hold this together. Okay. Including, you know, of course, you know, your husband is an alleged scammer, someone who allegedly has CP 
right? But all of these things together, even if he was not a criminal, I don't think her what, you know, everything, just looking at everything overall, I don't think that we're going to stay together. Because he still, even without him being a criminal, he still has a wandering eye. He does not like to be held down. He likes to be free. He wanted, he wanted them ones and will just want to, you know, run out, you know, in a relationship. He wants to be in a relationship to hold on to it as control for the other person. But he still wants to be able to run the streets and do whatever he wants to do without any respect for his partner. So even without him being a criminal, that's just part of his energetics. He's going to run the street. He can't keep it in his pants. Okay. That's just, that's just his energetics. He's not going to be, he's not just from his chart. He is not a man that's suitable to be a partner or a husband. He's just not, he's just not. He loved her for what she could do for him. That was not real love. He loved her for what she could do for him. And he could use her. She loved him. How do we know this? We look through all of their different Instagram pictures together. The way that she looks at him versus the way he looks at her tells the story. Okay. She stuck with him through it because her moon is in cancer. Her moon was in cancer. She was fine with, okay, well, next time he's going to do better. Okay, well, this time we're going to get it together. Okay, well, this time it's going to be okay. Um, I know he didn't mean it, right? Because in her mind, him being married to her, she took the marriage and the weight of that seriously, okay? His marriage to her was he loved her as much as she could do for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the dusty can't keep it in his pants mentality. Mm -hmm. the, the, that dusty, you know, yeah, I'm married, but you know, is he, does he wear his, does he, I want you all to think about that. I want you all to think about that. Think about how many women wear their wedding rings, but their husbands don't. Think about how many women wear their wedding rings and, you know, their bands and everything like that, but their husbands don't. Where I used to work, so many of the men in there were married. They didn't wear their wedding bands. They did not wear their wedding bands. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is, this is the energetics for him. He was married by title alone, not the depth of what that means and what that means to be a husband. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I want you ladies to think about that. You know, those of you like in the workplace and stuff like that, notice the men who are married, who don't wear their wedding bands. I want you to notice that. Think about that. I saw a lot of that. Okay. I saw a lot of it. My father always wore his. My husband wears his. You know. But yeah. I want you all to think about that. This is part of the energy, part of, of the dynamic of who Nesto is. Mm -hmm. My wife is married. I am not. Mm -hmm. Erica J says, I know plenty. All of his personal relationships is what he can get out of it. His personal relationships are what we can get out of that. We can see that how. How do we know this? Dre is supposed to be his longest friend. He talked terrible about Dre. He talked terrible about his wife. Okay. He talked terrible about the side chicken, even though the side chicken paying for him. He talk, he's talking terrible about all these different people. He does not value relationships. He does not value the interactions between people as far as 
what it means to cultivate and nurture relationships. His relationships are what can you do for me? What can I get out of it? This is the person who he is. And his facade comes, his facade comes in the wool over people's eyes. Okay, he knows how to charm. He knows how to say the right things. Oh, he knows how to manipulate. He knows how to emotionally manipulate and things like that. His relationships are who can do something for me. That is the extent of his, the depth of his relationships. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's the depth of the relationships. Like I said, go back and look through the Instagram pictures. Shirley is looking at him. She in love. She didn't found her man. She's happy. She's married. Look at how he looks at her. He doesn't look at her like that. You can look at him, you can look at people, men and women, and know when they love someone by how they look at the person. Okay. Okay. So make no mistake about it. Like, you know, Shirley is the type of person where she is going to give the benefit of the doubt. She doesn't want to be wrong. She doesn't want to, because she's someone so much in the limelight, she, make no mistake about it, she's mad that this is public because she is a prominent woman. She's mad that this is public. If all of this were kept under wraps and none of us knew about it, she would probably still be given the benefit of the doubt. She would probably still be given Nestle the benefit of the doubt. Because this is public, again, she's so tied to her identity and her fame, her legacy that she's worked hard for, right, that's tied to who she is, and the fact that this is staining this legacy that she worked hard for, she's she doesn't like that this is public. She don't like that this is public. Nesto just don't care. Because he, um, whoever he can find to use, that's that's what he's going to do. It was like he's using the side chicken. The same way he's using the side chicken. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think so. I think that he did learn this from an early age. I don't know where he grew up. I don't know how he grew up. But it's it's almost like as if he was raised in a brothel, if he was raised in a strip club, if he was raised, you know, I, I said it before, it's the energy of Eddie Murphy's character in um, Harlem Nights. You know, he was raised around fast money, raised around doing this, you know, don't really, you know, it's, it's, like a child being brought up in a strip club. It's his energetics are very weird, but he does not have a respect for women or close intimacy relationships. It just doesn't mean the same for him as it does for Shirley or someone who truly cares about relationships. But yeah, I think she would still be with him if it was if it was under wraps. You know, um I think I think that, you know, because it's public, I think that she has a lot because she's embarrassed, right? We can only be embarrassed if other people know. But yeah, he um Yeah, yeah, that she she was supposed to learn this lesson and it's very, very unfortunate that she had to learn this lesson through him, through Nesto, but she had to learn this lesson. Um and this was a hard one for her. Hey, Muffin. This was a hard one for her because um, it's in her mind, it's not supposed to happen to her. In her mind, it's not supposed to happen to her. It's supposed to be these other people because overall, Shirley is a decent person overall. Well, make no mistake about it. She does have that little bit of, it's not quite mammy, but it's, 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 it's on the borderline. It's on the borderline. Okay. It's, it's, it's on the border, borderline. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. Just just look in, you know, his son opposite, you know, her moon. You know, she, yeah. They were not, the only thing that really, really held them together was she had a reputation to keep. And, you know, um, they were technically supposed to be making so much more money together. They were supposed to be making so much more money together. But he out here scheming and, and doing everything else. Um, yeah, this this wasn't going to last. This was not going to last at all. This this wasn't going to last. The only thing that really kept them together is they were supposed to be making some so much more money together, and you know they they enjoy money. They they enjoy resources, which is fine because we all need resources, right? We like to have heat in winter, and you know. Um, air conditioning in the summer. Nothing wrong with resources, but they were bad with resources together, both of them. One just exacerbated the other. They weren't really good with resources, but they like money. And yeah, they, they were attracted to each other. Yeah, he cute. Yeah, she cute. But that was really it. They are philosophically two different people. And he's a scammer. He's a scammer. He's a charmer. He's a scammer. And he doesn't like the way that she judge, judges him, whether she'll say it or not. She does judge him because he's not being the Christian that he lied to her about being. So she is judgmental and he doesn't like that. But he will endure some of anything as long as he get that bag, as long as he's able to hold on to that bag together. As long as he's able to hold on to the bag, he will do and be whatever she needs as long as he can have that bag. Okay. But he was he was he was never gonna be faithful. He was never gonna be faithful. He was just gonna hold on until he could find something else better. That's all he was gonna do. If he were if he were to if someone like Angela Bassett were to go to Nesto and say, hey, let's get married, he would leave Shirley in a heartbeat for Angela Bassett because she has more money. She has more money. She has more status. She has more connections. Yeah, she did. She thought she got a Southern gentleman. She did. And make no mistake about it. Nesto, and, and we we did the we did the Nesto NATO natal chart review, right? He is charming. Someone who is charming knows how to play the part. He knows how to play the part. Okay. He knows how to play the part. She looked through his Instagram when they first met or whatever he had as far as um, a business goes. She looked through it and it it checked the boxes. It looks good. It looks clean. It looks, you know, it looks well to do. He knows what luxury looks like. He knows what refinement looks like. Okay. He knew how to play that. He knows how to charm. No, she, she don't have status, but, you know, he's part of his... Part of his energetics is is he's not going to be held down. It, don't don't that ain't ain't Nesto still married to his first wife or to a previous wife? Aren't they still married? And he messing with all these other people. That part now part of his energetics is he just he just gonna he just gonna be out there playing around. He's gonna be out there playing around, playing in the streets. Can't okay? keep it in his pants. That's part of who he is too. So Sonia is the chicken head on the side that he can get something out of. She really is the side chicken. She really is the side chicken. And that, that was somebody he did because he could. That's all it was. That's all it was. He did because he could. Yeah, Sonia don't have status, 
but you know, she, she was probably paying for stuff or we don't, we don't, we don't truly know the entire depths of the situation with him and Sonia. We only know like for these phone calls, but wasn't Sonia out here putting money on it, on them phone call books so he can call people. He out here calling the homies talking about Sonia with the money that she put on his book so he can call. Yeah, that's 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 a user. Yeah, she, she yeah, she got a famous someone. Yeah, fa famous famous family member or whatever, but you know, they 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 not surely. They not surely. That's make no mistake about we we're not paying attention to whatever her mom or sister or whoever it is. We don't really know their body of work over there in Europe. But black people here in the United States know Steve Harvey, you know, for the most part. And the Shirley Strawberry Letter, whether you listen to it or not. That was somebody he can get something out of. Somebody he can get something out of. You know, for him to have multiple streams. That was for multiple streams of income. That's all it was. Uh-huh. Song is being used for whatever she's worth. Yep. Like everyone else. That's how he treats people. That's how he that's how he treats people. That's exactly how he treats people. He doesn't love anyone but himself. He don't love no one but himself. No one but himself. So this this was this was a relationship. This was a marriage. It wasn't going to stay. They were not going to last. They were not going to last. And say it again, they were not going to last. I'm surprised the divorce didn't come sooner. I'm surprised it didn't you know, it, it wasn't a thing before, um, before now. I'm surprised it wasn't a thing before now. You know, it was very, it was very superficial. It was very superficial. Mm-hmm. It was, it was very superficial, but Shirley did love him though. Shirley did love him. She probably still does, but understands that she has to divorce him because of her image. I remember seeing people on her Instagram telling her that, baby, you can't you can't do the strawberry letter no more because this is what you're going through and you, you, you can't do the strawberry letter no more. I remember seeing people tell her that on her Instagram. So whether she really wanted to or not, she divorced him because she got a rep to keep. She has an image to keep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shirley Strawberry has a rep to keep. She has a she has a rep to keep. Like I said, I'm surprised the first time I would have heard the phone calls, I would have been like, nah, divorce. So here we are in 2024. Right. <laughs> and even though you know she did the she did the pre she did the pre-paperwork, but Pre-paperwork would have been followed immediately by divorce paperwork if it was cute. It, it would have been like immediately, like right after that, or at the same time, or however you would do it. It it, it wouldn't be no um September to April. It just wouldn't be for me. Um that's just me. Um but yeah. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um what could have been so much more turned out to be a dumpster fire. But, you know, Shirley had to learn this lesson. And hopefully she has learned this lesson well. And hopefully she, um, you know, I'm not saying that she won't ever get into a relationship if, if she even wants a romantic relationship after this. But I hope that she has learned her lesson. Okay. And Nesto ain't going to learn nothing. Uh, Nesto ain't going to learn anything. Nesto is going to keep doing what he do until his number is up. He's not going to change. He's not going to change. But Shirley has the ability to change. Um, and hopefully she's going to change and learn and grow from this. Because baby, she, um, as messy as this is, she had to have this, she had to learn this lesson in the most public Everyone knows everyone in your business messy way for her to um, just really sit back and think about things and process things. 
um, it had to be public and messy for her to learn. Public and messy for her to learn. You know, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, Kenya. Yeah. This, this is... You, the, there's definitely some facts to this. Definitely some, some facts to this, especially as it pertains to, to Nesto. Um, yeah. Ruled by Mars. Uh-huh. And Mars and Saturn there. Yeah, it, it is sad. It is sad. It's very sad. But, you know, we don't necessarily have control over when we're going to learn a life lesson or when a life lesson is going to be presented to us. Um, we really don't, um, have that say, we, we really don't have that say, um, okay, P.O. 8, T Diva 29 says, Georgia had residency for six months. She filed in September, which brings her to March and April for good measure. Okay. Yeah, that was, yeah, 20, um, 2023. 2023. 2023, because we heard the calls. N Nest Nesto's been in there for a while. He didn't just um go to prison. Then, he didn't just go to prison then. Okay, he he he's not new to it either. He's not new to it either. But obviously, you know, and, and I give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, there are people who go to prison and, you know, they come out and they have learned their lesson. This is a career criminal, a career criminal who obviously has not learned their lesson. So, you know, again, she has to learn her lesson and she has to think about things. She has to think about things. She has to think about things because it if we can find information about Nesto, she can have a you know a private investigator go and find things out, you know. Um, but before before a wedding, but before a wedding, right? But she she trusted what was presented to her. She trusted what was presented to her. But yeah, th this isn't, you know, yeah. Background checks, search Facebook, do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you have to do. But yeah, this isn't his first time. This isn't his first time. And I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, everybody's going to just jump on the divorce thing. You know, they have a right to talk about their relationship, what they want to do. But baby, the, the, the flags were there. She ignored them. The flags were there and she she ignored them. The flags were there and she ignored them. So this was a lesson that she had to learn. It's sad, but, you know, we don't get to decide when we get our life lesson. Yeah, yeah, she, she's very nurturing. She's very nurturing. She's down to earth. You know, she is about her business, right? She wants to protect her reputation, everything that she's worked for. But yeah, um, yeah, it's it's just sad it had to come to this. It's just sad that it had to come to this, right? Just sad that, you know, it, it had to come to this. But you know, he did. The, but this relationship wasn't. It wasn't going to. It wasn't going to last. It, it wasn't going to last. Um, it wasn't going to last, unfortunately. So, yeah, yeah, heck yeah, it wasn't going to last. But yeah, so with that being said, um, yeah, yeah, it's it it, it was it's really sad, you know, going over this because it kind of. I was good spirits, but now I'm kind of sad because this is sad. It didn't have to be like this. It did not have to be like this, you know, but 
um, her partner chose criminality and her partner chose to do things that threw all of them, you know, into the spotlight. You know, he made them content. So. Okay, so. Poetic Diva 29 says, I agree with you wholeheartedly. She did say she had an investigator. So because of the social media is why she's doing what she's doing now. Plus she has Steve, Carla, et cetera, in her ear blessings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she she has to protect her rep. Remember, she is a prominent woman. She is a prominent woman, okay? She makes whatever she makes. You know, Shirley is, you know, listen, ladies, you know, it costs money to stay looking good and looking fine out here, okay? You know, her nails done, her hair, her wardrobe, her, you know, it, it costs money to do all of that, um, to maintain the refinement that you have, that you enjoy, you know, your career, your reputation, all of that. She has to protect that. But, you know, because it's public, you know, th this is the, the things now, because if it would have been quiet, I really think that, you know, she probably would have stayed later than this. Right. Yeah. Moving forward is going to free her. Yeah, moving forward, it's, it's going to free her. I'm, you know, there's definitely a deep lesson in all of this to learn. And I don't know if she's going to start applying what she's learned to her responses to the strawberry letters. I don't know. But, um, you know, the, the, deeply transformational for her. Will he go after her money? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but um, we have to see what, what comes about with all of this. But yeah, it's sad because it didn't have to be this way. Yeah, so it's, it's a hell of a lesson. It's a hell of a lesson. Um, wanting appearances, wanting, you know, yeah. You know, she made sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and part of her image, part of her... I'm not going to say lesson, but as far as her being married and marrying Nesto as well was part of her reputation. So like, what do I mean? So like, it's, it's a good look for her to marry someone that's supposed to be this quote unquote good person, or he looks good in pictures, right? Because she is giving the advice, you know, on the Steve Harvey morning show. So if she's so good to give out this advice, you know, where is your partner? Where is your man? Right. So part of that, you know, accepting proposal from him was part of that too. Yeah. Oh, he's very money driven. Absolutely. I hope she learns from this too. Uh, I hope she does. I, I really hope she does. Definitely a facade. She does deserve happiness. She does deserve goodness and happiness. She absolutely does. I don't know if this is going to be, I, I, I don't know what's coming for her. I don't know. I, I need to do some update readings as far as her and Nesto goes. Um, but I hope I hope she does fare better after this. Um, yeah, I, I hope she's able to move on too. But yeah, this, this relationship had at the most, at the most a 40 to 60% chance of maintaining. And they're just two different people. And although they have a drive and an enjoyment of money, they're, they're just, they're just two different people. And part of who he is, is to scam in this game. Oh goodness. When did they get married? They got married in... What was it? They got married in, let me pull it up. When did they get married? I don't even remember when they got married. 
when did I get married? Was it 2000? Let me see. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, so they got, yeah, they got married in 2015. So almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. So, because they got married in January of 2015. So yeah, this is almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. Do I think Nesto will learn anything? No. Personally, I don't think he will learn. I don't think so. Nope. Personally, I don't think so. Because he can't see past anyone but himself. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a divorce lawyer. I'm not a family trial lawyer. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know what they plan they had in place. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Some people go into things with a prenup. I, I don't know. So I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, she was, she was, she was, yeah, a whole out here embarrassed. Whole lot here embarrassed. Um, it's embarrassing. It's it, it's embarrassing to hear, you know, your husband on the phone with some side chick, and you know he all these women out here and, and allegations of that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. So, again, I hope she learns from it. Whatever you went through, I'm sorry you went through it, girl. Whatever you went through, I'm sorry you went through it because. <laughs> I don't, I don't wish this on, on, you know, I don't wish it on people, you know, I, I, I don't wish this on people. Um, the person that's supposed to be your, your closest at, um, advocate, your, your best friend, your protector, your, you know, y'all down for each other, y'all ride for each other. And this is what they do to you. Yeah. This is embarrassing and it's hurtful. Fortunately, it was a lesson she had to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but again, there were there were flags there. There were there were flags there. I don't know when she saw the flags, but there were there were flags. There were there were flags. She knew something. Either she knew something and ignored it, or she knew and she didn't care, or you know, but flags were there. Flags were there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just just a hard, just a hard situation. Yeah, definitely, definitely hope and want the best for her. Um, definitely want the best for her. I hope she's able to come out of it and um move on and you know protect her legacy and her children. You know, time time is going to tell. I'm pretty sure we're still going to be talking about this well into the summer when we see things that happen. So we probably have another six months to a year of talking about this entire situation. So that's just my estimate. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for being here and for listening. I, I started out on such a good good foot and now I'm kind of down in the dumps now <laughs> talking about this because it's just been so it, it's it's just terrible and it didn't have to be this way so um it's terrible and it didn't have to be this way so um yeah yeah um yeah it's it's it, it's sad yeah she she was definitely even with the flags there um, whether she had the flags or not doesn't mean that you take advantage of someone just because you can, right? That's not right to do. Um, especially someone who's in the position that's supposed to be the safest position for someone to be, you know, next to you, like your husband, your wife, right? Um, that 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 had to hurt. That literally had to hurt, right? Um, that literally had to hurt. So I hope she's not destroyed. And whether she saw the flags or not doesn't mean he was supposed to do all the crap that he did. 
right? Um, that is why if he is found guilty, you know, if he is found guilty by a court of law, that I do not feel sorry for him. So, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a little sad, a little sad. So, I'm going to get out of here. I thank you all for being here with me this Friday Eve. Um, hopefully, I will see you all over on Nyla's. Nyla's going to be live soon. Um, and if you have any questions or comments about this, just go ahead and put it in the comment section under the video, and I will answer them. So. All right, my darlings, that's it. That's all. I love you all. Enjoy your Friday evenings and I'll see you on the flip side.